So when we want to insert uh, the coil, mm -hmm. we're going to insert this in the vagina, mm -hmm. the vaginal walls, mm -hmm. and we go in slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, mm -hmm. until you get to the cervix. Mm -hmm. Then cervix, you go in mm -hmm. through the cervix mm -hmm. because this has to sit mm -hmm. in the uterus. Okay. Jumbo once again and welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we proceed with today's topic, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Aida Muzati. Also, just hit on the notification button so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Once again, I am Aida Muzati, a health and a science journalist. And with the help of our experts, I have informed you on matters heart. We are still continuing with our series that is uh, on issues to do with our family planning. And once again, I am at Janice Medical and Cancer Hospital in Nairobi. And I'm still with our nurse uh, Felista. And together, we're just going to learn more about different family planning methods. Today, we do the long-term family planning methods. Felista, over to you. Thank you. All right. Now the other long method that we are going to talk about mm -hmm. is the IUCD, mm -hmm. which is intrauterine uh, devices. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called IUCD because they're inserted through the vagina all the mm -hmm. way to the uterus. Okay. That's why intrauterus, okay? okay. This is copper T. Uh, for demonstration purposes, this is how it looks, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it's called copper T because mm -hmm. of the shape. T yeah the tea mm -hmm. we used to have different um types we used to have the s mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. we used to have different shapes but i mm -hmm. think nowadays they're no longer in the market mm -hmm. so we have this one mm -hmm. uh copper tea lasts for 10 years so within 10 years you can never get pregnant if you have it mm -hmm. and just like i said there's also the percentage failure which okay. is maybe one percent or something mm -hmm. Although when we get the one percent, looks like it's the hundred percent, you know. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is how it looks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with copper tea, mm -hmm. you've come to the clinic. Mm -hmm. You want to get family planning. Mm -hmm. We've educated you on different methods, mm -hmm. and then um, what are we going to tell you about copper tea? Mm -hmm. We'll tell you that uh, those who are eligible for this, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm you should not have many sexual partners okay. because mm -hmm. you are likely to get infection from them, okay, the STIs. Mm -hmm. So if you have many, many partners, we wouldn't, it's not recommended. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For those who have, um, say, severe anemia, mm -hmm. copper tea might not be given. Okay. But of course, mm -hmm. in uh, when we are giving family planning, mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. we have like a, there's usually uh, the decision is made. Mm -hmm. We have who can use it. Mm -hmm. Like a hundred percent, you are safe. Mm -hmm. uh, then there are those who are not very safe, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they, can they can still use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have those completely cannot okay. use it. Yeah, so so it's very important. Mm -hmm. So once you've given your history and all mm -hmm. that we are able to classify where you fit, whether mm -hmm. you're likely to use it or mm -hmm. not likely to use it. Mm -hmm. So for the, for, for the um, copati, and of course those with maybe say upon a cancer of cervix, okay. you see you don't want to insert anything there. Mm -hmm. So how do we go about it? Mm -hmm. uh, so copati is the mm -hmm. coil. Yeah, so it's the coil. the coil. Yes, right. it's actually the right. coil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So how do we put it? We, I have um, some dummy here. Okay. Uh, this is our, our uterus, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. our tubes, okay. then our ovaries mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and then we have the, the um, cervix. Mm -hmm. You see the cervix is there? Mm -hmm. and then of course this is the vaginal walls. Okay. okay. So once the woman has decided that she actually wants the, the copati, mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to use a speculum, uh, I mean, yeah, a speculum. Okay. This is a speculum. Mm -hmm. uh, speculum is basically to help us uh, visualize the cervix, okay? Mm -hmm. mm. So this, this is a, a minute. 
So speculum comes in this position, mm -hmm. this way. Okay. So when we want to insert um, the coil, mm -hmm. we're going to insert this in the vagina, mm -hmm. the vaginal walls, mm -hmm. and we go in mm -hmm. until we get to where the cervix is. Okay. And then we open it a little. So then we are able to visualize, we are able to see the, mm -hmm. the cervix. Okay. So once we are able to see the cervix, mm -hmm. we use something that we call sound. Okay. Like we want to measure the size of the uterus. Okay. Reason being, uh, we need to know exactly what is the size of your uterus mm -hmm. because some could have very tiny ones mm -hmm. that you cannot even insert it. Okay. Or those big ones mm -hmm. such that the coil will keep moving. Mm -hmm. So all the time we start with the sound. Once we have that, mm -hmm. we see, mm -hmm. we go in with the sound, mm -hmm. we measure. Mm -hmm. So whatever we get, mm -hmm. Say we've gotten six, we've gotten seven, mm -hmm. we also have the same measurements on this paper. Okay. So every coil comes with this, okay. like a ruler. Mm -hmm. So then if, we gotten it, mm -hmm. if we've gotten it, say six, mm -hmm. we are going to move our coil up to mm -hmm. six. We move this up to that, to six, okay? okay. So then when we go in, mm -hmm will go and hit the fundus where the, the uterus ends. Okay. So then it sits there nicely, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So what we do, uh, once say you found out mm -hmm. she's for five centimeters mm -hmm. or six centimeters, mm -hmm. so you will still go in now mm -hmm. through our, our um, speculum. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, just in ideal situation, remember this is our the the um, this is our vaginal walls. Mm -hmm. So and before we go in, you need to at least put them in a way that it can fit. You know the cervix is very small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how we go in when it's in this position. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going in, uh, and then you've checked your the size. Uh -huh. Okay. You go in slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, mm -hmm. until you get to the cervix. Mm -hmm. Then cervix, you go in mm -hmm. through the cervix mm -hmm. because this has to sit mm -hmm. in the uterus. Okay. okay, so it goes in up to the fundus. This is the fundus here. Mm -hmm. So once it gets to the fundus, mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone all the way to the fundus. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we you just push it just a little mm -hmm. for it to open, okay. Okay? okay? And then slowly you you dislocate, you, you come out with this one. So then yeah, you'll come mean, out and remain with it. You see the, the yeah, strings, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. The strings, so I don't want to, because this is for learning purposes, but anyway, we can do it. Mm -hmm. So the strings are here, okay? okay. Uh -huh. So with the strings, huh? mm -hmm. so, you have the string, so you push, you push, you leave it there, okay? okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. It remains like this, huh? mm -hmm. okay? okay? So with this one now, after that you just uh, trim the, the strings. The string. Yes. Okay. And the, the issue where uh, women say probably, or those that have never tried the coil over, or have want to try the coil, yeah. the issue of uh, the strings might like get in and disappear. Well, um, we, have, we have cases where the strings for sure disappear, okay. but it's not a problem okay. because in the facilities we have gadgets okay. that are made mm -hmm. to retrieve that. Oh, right. Yes, mm -hmm. because sometimes for sure mm -hmm. you might not get the strings, mm -hmm. but when you do an ultrasound, mm -hmm. you're able to visualize yes, the... There. The, the, um, the coil. Okay. So in such cases, there is an instrument mm -hmm. that is able to retrieve. Mm -hmm. But in the worst scenario, when we are not able to, mm -hmm. then the lady is taken to theatre, mm -hmm. just a very minor procedure mm -hmm. just to retrieve the coil. Okay. Yes. Okay. But uh, like from one to a hundred, like what's, what are the chances of that happening? Very few cases, okay. very few cases. Okay. And normally what happens is once once you 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 trim mm -hmm. you even try and tack it on the uh, at the posterior side of the cervix okay. so then nobody mm -hmm. the man won't complain mm -hmm. that he was being um like he was feeling something yeah the sexual intercourse yes or? because sometimes 
when the women tell their men that uh, they've done it, they've put the coil, mm -hmm. automatically the man says, will complain sometimes. Yeah. It might be genuine, mm -hmm. sometimes it just might be mentally, mentally okay. because you know she has it. Mm -hmm. So most of the time if they complain, the, the client comes back, mm -hmm. we are able to trim again, mm -hmm. and then we try and tuck it in. Okay. Yes, okay. yeah, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. um, for this, for mm -hmm. the for the coil, mm -hmm. it's very important also to note that during every menstrual cycle, mm -hmm when you are disposing your, your um, sanitary pads, mm -hmm. it's always good, and especially the first, first uh, months, mm -hmm. it's very important to just check your pad. Okay. Because sometimes if you have a heavy menses, mm -hmm. it, it's also easy to, to oh. come out, okay. yeah. Okay, and how about uh, for the women that uh, probably will want to use the coil, but use the tampons as well? Well, mm -hmm. you can, some some women i mean normally the mm -hmm. gynecologist will advise you mm -hmm. it's still okay yeah. but keenly okay. keenly in the sense that anytime you are removing mm -hmm. ensure you've just uh, uh inspected that okay. the coil is not there because okay. if you have menses or while removing your coil mm -hmm. if that string i mean your tampon if that string Probably yeah, they, it's they come in contact if yeah, they come it's out. likely to come out. Okay. So it's very important. Mm -hmm. And then another one of the advantages of coil mm -hmm. is that uh, if you're doing this, of course, we'll ask you to come for checkups, mm -hmm. regular checkups. Okay. Because ten so years is quite, quite a long period. Exactly. Uh -huh. So with these checkups, we are doing, we are able to check to screen for cervical mm -hmm. uh, cancer. Yes. Okay. Yes, while at it, mm -hmm. because you just want to know how is the going, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's yes. Mm -hmm. During the first times after insertion, mm -hmm. women will complain of cramping, mm -hmm. um, a lot of cramping mm -hmm. to some, mm -hmm. but just like any other person, these mm -hmm. things are different. Okay. Some person might have complaints, another yeah, one might yeah, not yeah. have. Yeah. So we encourage the clients, let them talk to our doctors. Mm -hmm. If you have, you feel you're uncomfortable, mm -hmm. come to the hospital, mm -hmm. let's see what we can do. Okay. Yes. Oh. The discharge should be expected, mm -hmm. and especially the very first times, mm -hmm. and it's very normal. Mm -hmm. Reason being, um, our bodies are made in such a way that mm -hmm. whenever we have a foreign organ, the body wants to expel it out, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And so when we put coil, mm -hmm. it's a foreign thing. Mm -hmm. So the body somehow will also try to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And that's why the first, first times you will have um, discharge. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but the discharge, like we said, if it's a normal discharge, there's no smell, the color hasn't changed, mm -hmm. you shouldn't really worry about much. Mm -hmm. But um, issue with the discharge, again, it's should you get an infection when you have coil, mm -hmm. then it also becomes a bit uh, difficult. It's not really like it's not doable, mm -hmm. but treating it might take a bit uh, a longer period than a person without okay. because sometimes the microorganism might attach on the strings or on the coil. So by the time you actually clear that, mm -hmm. it's not the same now, someone who doesn't, doesn't have. have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. Thank you for that. I think that is uh, quite clear. Yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the so many questions that I've had that women have as far as the coil is concerned because mm. it's again... It, that is quite a longer period of time. Yeah. Now let me just take you back to something that you mentioned. Probably I have had unprotected sex today. Yeah. Instead of uh, using probably an emergency pill, I can go for a coil. How does it work? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Simply because, uh, and that brings me to how does it work? How does coil actually prevent um, pregnancy? pregnancy? Okay. You see, when it's sitting on, um, on our cervix, mm -hmm. okay? okay? Just show it to the when it's sitting on our cervix, mm -hmm. ideally it blocks the tubes, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. It blocks, so it's actually physical um, barrier. Mm -hmm. In essence that the sperms as they come up, they're not able to pass. Mm -hmm. So here is a case whereby you, you just said mm -hmm. you are menses. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just said unprotected sex, sex uh -huh. yeah? And then you go immediately and put the coil. 
-hmm. You see now, this will block such that mm -hmm. there won't be interaction of the mm -hmm. of the of the two. Like there's no space mm -hmm. for even them to come to 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 for conception to take place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so it actually works like immediately mm -hmm. as a method. So it's a, it, it can actually be taken as an emergency. It's taken, okay. yeah. All right. Yes. Mm. Once again, I thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll have more opportunities to continue learning on different health matters. A special thanks that is at to Janice Medical and Cancer Hospital. Just to let you know that it is located at a Sunview Estate that is just opposite Kenyatta Market. Once again, Asante Sana. My name is Aida Muzatsi. I am a health and science journalist. And with the help of experts, I have in informing you.